The guys at Fitzer.be were kind enough to let me borrow and test this new Carbon Wow which is now being produced uh, by the Czech company Katanga and is being distributed by uh, Fitzer.be in, um, in Ghent, Belgium. And first of all you can see that this one has a short nose, that means you have two options when it comes to the nose, either you are uh, you need the extra space and you have the long nose or you prefer the short option which makes it easier to store. As you can see from the bolts, um, typically for the WOW is that the front and the back end can be disassembled which makes it easier to work on and also if you want to put it in your car for example, you can just put it in. Uh, unlike my Quattro Velo for example which does not fit in my Volkswagen. The nose is also quite short and I really like the lights at the end. I think they're magnificently integrated into the bodywork. The WOW has open wheel wells and I did my testing with 28mm Schwalbe Pro 1's front tyres. It went pretty fast I must say. Of course all my comparisons will be um, coming from my experiences with the Quattro Velo which I'm really used to. So even just the fact that it has three wheels is different for me. Um, I think it went pretty uh, fast. I went over 40 kilometers quickly without any problems and I could even keep up 50 kilometers an hour. Did not go much faster than that but it has a higher cruising speed than my Quattro Velo. Let's take a look at the inside. You can see that the, the hood is hinged forward, which works fine. It consists of two different parts, but I'm pretty sure you can't stow it all the way away, um, which I think is a problem in a Velomobile, but the DF has the same problem there. I think you should be able to store your hood entirely. Um, second thing, here is some tank steering for you, which means you have no central tiller, but the steering is at the side. I think that works perfectly fine. I'm used to tiller steering, but this works too. Um, some electronics, you can see the yellow button for the uh, indicators, red button, uh, green button, sorry, for the uh, horn, and then some more buttons for the lights. Um, I do have to say that uh, I have a problem with the, um, with the ergonomics of, of the tank steering. For example, I think it's hard to shift while still having your hand on the grips. Um, maybe it's because my hands are too small, but this this I need I need my whole hand to shift this forward and backwards while my hand should be here. On the other side, I do think that all the buttons are quite ergonomically uh, placed. As a Quattro Velo owner, I'm always quite surprised that there's no specific place to put your stuff in the side. So I've put some, uh, well, you know, my my, uh, my wallet in a little bag here. Um, if you tilt the seat forward, which Velcro's shut, then you can see that there is some space to the right and to the left of the wheel well. A summary of my experiences, my short experiences with this Carbon Wow is that it is pretty nice. Might be the only, uh, well, the first WoW that I, I actually like riding. I'm not quite sure about the suspension at moments. Uh, at certain times it feels very good over okay surfaces, but when I hit a pothole or I'm on a rough road, it uh, it can also feel quite horrible. Uh, but of course, I am used to the Quattro Velo, which has four wheels and full suspension. It is pretty light, pretty fast, uh, and nice to drive.